journey started out with a pet quail named Finn dressed in all kinds of hats, which garnered a ton of friends on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. The book is called The Imaginary Adventures of Finn, the first book, The Missing Sunflower Seeds. My guests are co-authors Bernard Henry and Michael Cefalu. Welcome to you both. Thank Thanks you so much, son. All right, so let's go back to the very beginning, Bernard. You love birds. Love them. There, there's uh, Fat Hen Farms has a bunch of birds. Yep. <laughs> you started putting little hats on Finn the quail, and then what happened? It, it blew up, honestly. I had no intention of, when I started Fat Hen Farms, it was just my little poultry business. I had no intentions of even raising quail and certainly not putting hats on them. Um, but then one of my followers sent me a hat, and it, it kind of went downhill from there. Uh, I reached out to a woman on Etsy, and like any kind of hat dream I have, she makes come true now. So it's like this collection has grown to over 100 hats now. So it, it's been the, the response from Instagram and social media has been insane. All right. You guys are a married couple. We are. Yeah. You yep. just wrote your first book. Were there, were there some fights over what's going to go <laughs> into, the, into the book? Uh, honestly, I think more so on the illustrations. Um, we went back and forth on it uh, a lot. Yep. But um, overall, we had, we, we had went, the, same, went the same vision, yeah. I feel like. But um, the, I, the illustrations were the most difficult part. So, like, por portray, like, Finn as he is and, like, like, the animated self he is in real life. So that was the d difficult portion of it. But and he's a detective of sorts, right? He is a detective. Oh, yeah. this, this, I, have to, I have to show you this little tiny hat. So was this made and this this was the inspiration yep. for this book, right? Exactly, yep. It's Sherlock Holmes. It is, yeah. yep. exactly. Finn. <laughs> yeah. I love that. All right, so Fat Hen Farms. How many, how many birds do you have on the farm? And, and why, and you care for them as a sanctuary. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, so like I said, it started out as just chickens, but I feel like once you start raising chickens, you go down a rabbit hole of, well, maybe I need ducks and maybe turkeys, and then finally we got to quail, and I just love quail now. So there's over 200 birds on the farm right now, so, and, and you know, majority are rescue, and so, it's just evolved to something. And you crazy. grow flowers too, but flowers. that's, a, that's another say, story. It is. You're, you've Love got that so part. Much stuff going <laughs> exactly. On. All right, uh, uh, Michael. This book is from what? Three to seven years uh, yeah, old. Yeah, three to seven years old. Okay, and give me the upshot of the book. So the book is Finn goes on a journey to um, discover who um, stole the missing sunflower seeds, um, and he meets all these different birds on the farm. Uh, and animals, and he realizes because there's a lot of life lessons. Like, don't you know? Take don't accuse. Not, don't take what's not yours. Not yours. Yep. Um, and he realizes that he, you know, after all this, that he has to really look at the bigger picture. Seems and we're never missing. Yeah, they were never missing. I gave a little bit of it away, but no, it, no it's, <laughs> it's beautifully illustrated. <laughs> it you. really, you. really is. Um, and as I said, uh, this is going to be book one. How many books are in you? Do you think? The, honestly, there's, I mean, there's a hundred hats. And we, we, <laughs> I mean, we we're could get a lot of interviews. A, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're definitely in the, in the process of writing the next book. And so um, I, I won't give away what the next hat is yet, but we definitely have 10 lined up that we definitely really want to write. Yeah. So. I absolutely love it. Thank and there's you. great you. lessons for kids. There is. Absolutely. There is. Yep, for right. sure. And have you planted the flowers yet for the season? I did. There are so many tulips coming up right now. And so I just have to protect them from the deer. So that's the main thing right now. <laughs> All right. And people can come up and see fat hen farms in New Milford, correct? We're going to, I think we're going to open it up to um, tulip picking th yep. this spring. So that's, that's the hopes. Yep. All right. Congratulations. Thank, to thank you so much, Ann. You are now co <laughs> yeah. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. And if you'd like to know more about the imaginary adventures of Finn and Fat Hen Farms in New Milford, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app. All right, you didn't see the pictures there, but he became a social media sensation by putting hats that a woman from Etsy and a lot of folks are knitting and crocheting these little hats for Finn the quail. The real bird, not the, the drawing of the real bird. Quail. Okay. So they based their first book on Finn, who's crazy popular on TikTok, on Facebook. Huh. And that's their first book. What's and they, cuter than a quail in a little hat? Well, I wish you'd have seen them. We, the pictures didn't get in there, unfortunately. Mm. Well. Adorable. Great idea. Why yeah. not? It's catching on. Well, we'll be back with more here in just a minute.